Hi kids, it's time for Disney Mickey Mouse Clubhouse. Mickey and Donald have a farm. There's something brand new at the clubhouse that Mickey can't wait to share with everybody. But first, let's get our Mouska tools, he says. The Mouska doer shows Mickey the Mouska tools. We've got a handy fishing pole. The Blimpy Blazer for floating and flying, a soft blanket, comfy, and the mysterious Mouska Tool. A quick change of clothes and Mickey is ready to go. I hope my new clothes don't give away my big surprise, he says. Suddenly, Donald and Pluto rush inside to hurry Mickey along. Goofy's on the go, Donald cries, and we've got to stop him. Whoa, you tricky little tractor. Goofy doesn't know how to stop the runaway clickety-clack tractor. Step aside, everyone, shouts Donald. He throws his lasso over the tractor's red handle and pulls. It works. The tractor comes to a halt. Sorry I goofed up, Mickey says Goofy. Mickey smiles. That's okay, Goof. You took us right where I wanted to go. Welcome to the clubhouse farm, Mickey says. Mickey and Donald grow fruits and veggies on the farm. They raise animals too. The clubhouse farm is a very busy place. Oh, Mickey and Donald have a farm. Miska, Mouska, do, and on our farm we have lots of fun. Miska, Mouska, do. Everyone helps out at the clubhouse farm. We're picking lots of apples today, says Daisy. They're delish. And the cows are making sure we have plenty of milk too, adds Minnie. All of a sudden, a mighty wind begins to blow. Whoa! shouts Mickey. Hold on to your hats, everybody. Come back here, hat, cries Goofy. My head needs you. Everything is being blown around, even the animals. That wind could wreck the farm, warns Mickey. Mickey has to shout to be heard over the whooshing wind. But there is another sound, too, an unusual whirring sound. Come on guys, calls Mickey. Let's hop in the clickety-clack tractor and find out what's making that strange sound. Mickey and the gang follow the whirring sound to their neighbor's farm. Yarsh, would you looky at that, says Goofy. It's a giant windy mill. Farmer Pete, what's going on, asks Mickey. Sorry for all the wind, says Pete. I was using my new windmill to keep the bugs away from my prize petunias. Why don't you turn the windy mill off? yells Goofy. Farmer Pete shrugs. I don't know which lever to pull. There were three levers. Goofy remembers that red means stop. Let's try it, says Mickey. Goofy grabs the red lever and pulls. The windmill stopped, Mickey cheers, and so did the wind says Donald. Mickey and the gang head back to the clubhouse farm. Thanks everybody, calls Farmer Pete. Back at the farm, something is plainly wrong. All the animals are missing. Golly, says Goofy. They must have blown away like birdies. Gone with the wind, says Donald. Come on, says Mickey. Let's find the animals. Just then, the friends hear a familiar whinny. But where is the sound coming from? Minnie and Daisy point up. The pony is sitting on top of the silo. We've got to help that horsey, says Goofy. If only she could fly. Oh, toodles, Mickey calls. Which mouse tool will help the pony float to the ground? Right, the blimpy blazer. Goofy laughs. It's stylish, too. All right, 
We've got the pony down safely, says Mickey. Suddenly, the friends hear another sound. Wink, wink, wink. It's the piggies. The cluck cluck chicken coop sheltered them from the wind. But now the piggies are ready to come down. Uh-oh, says Mickey. The piggies need a safe place to land. Mickey and friends call. Oh, Toodles! Toodles appears in a jiffy with the perfect mousecatool, a nice, soft blanket. Donald and Goofy hold the blanket tight as the piggies glide down the twisty slide. One, two, three little piggies! Mickey is ready to take the animals back to the barn. Do we have room for three more? asks Goofy. Mickey giggles. The more the merrier, he says. Goofy and Donald help the piggies into the clickety-clack crackers wagon. On the way back to the barn, Mickey hears Farmer Clarabelle calling for her lost chickens. Oh, cluck cluck chickens, where can you be? she cries. Mickey has an idea. Your chickens love to sing, he says. Let's all sing a song together. I bet the cluck cluck chickens will come out and join in too. Oh, Mickey and Donald have a farm, Miska, Mouska, do. And on our farm we have cluck cluck chickens, Miska, Mouska, do. Before long, Clarabelle's chickens come out of the tall grass. Clarabelle is so happy. Oh, thank you, Mickey, she says. Mickey smiles. Ah, helping friends is what friends are for. Another farm friend needs help, too. Cowabunga, says Goofy. Mrs. Cow is stuck in that tire like a cork in a bottle. Moo, says Mrs. Cow as she sways back and forth. It's not safe to get too close to the swinging cow says Mickey. I think we need a mouse tool. What if we use the handy fishing pole to catch the tire? asks Mickey. Yeah, says Goofy. Then the tire would stop swinging. And the cow too, Donald adds. We've got ears. Say cheers. Donald catches the tire and holds it steady. I did it, he shouts. Okie dokie, Mrs. Cow, Goofy says calmly. Just wiggle yourself out and... Suddenly, Mrs. Cow pops free and lands right in Goofy's arms. Hot dog, says Mickey. Now it's back to the barn. Then, without warning, boom! A clap of thunder surprises everybody. Dark clouds roll across the sky. A storm is coming. We need to blow away these stormy clouds, says Mickey. Oh, toodles, the gang calls. All that's left is the mystery mouse tool. Pete's windmill, exclaims Mickey. But that's what blew all the animals away, says Goofy. Yeah, says Mickey. But now we can use it to blow all the clouds away. Mickey tilts Pete's windmill to the sky. Pull the lever that makes the windmill go, he says. Red means stop, so it's not the red lever, Goofy says, but green means... It means go, shouts Donald as he pulls the green lever. The windmill's powerful blast of air quickly blows the storm clouds away. Hot dog, cries Mickey. Mickey drives a wagon full of animals back to the barn. Hooray! shouts Mickey. All the animals are back. Goody, goody, says Daisy. Moo, arvelous, adds Clarabelle. The farm is saved. Mickey and his pals begin to sing. Oh, Mickey and Donald have a farm. Miska, Mouska, do. And everything's back the way it was. Miska, Mouska, do. Thanks for stopping by, says Mickey. See you real soon. The end.
Mickey Mouse Clubhouse. Super Heroes. Mickey Mouse and his friends are pretending to be superheroes. Superheroes work together to help others and save the day from super villains. Donald pretends to be the notorious super villain, Dastardly Donald. You'll never catch me, Dastardly Donald declares. <coughs> Suddenly, Power Pants Pete, a real super villain, appears in the sky. He zaps the glove balloon with his shrink ray making it teeny tiny. I'm gonna shrink the entire clubhouse world, says Power Pants Pete. Uh-oh, this is a super problem, says Mickey. Luckily, Professor Von Drake has a super solution. His super maker machine can temporarily turn anyone into a superhero. The friends all walk into the super maker machine. When they walk out, they are superheroes. Dynamo Duck is super speedy. Upsy Daisy can move things with her mind. Super Mickey is super strong. Super Goof is super stretchy. Wonder Minnie has super wonder bows. And Super Power Pup can fly. Your super fantastic powers will only last for a little while, says the professor. So you'll have to work as a team to stop Power Pants Pete in time. The heroes try to stop Pete from shrinking Minnie's bow teak, but Wonder Minnie's bows block Upsy Daisy's mind powers. Then Pete drops rubber duckies onto the heroes. Oh, Super Toodles, calls Mickey. <coughs> Super Toodles has a giant umbrella. The umbrella protects the heroes from the rubber duckies, but Power Pants Pete escapes. <coughs> when Dynamo Duck and Super Goof hurry after Pete, they get twisted up in each other's powers. They accidentally hit Pete's blimp, and Pete falls to the ground. You're through, Power Pants Pete, says Mickey. Then, Pete is zapped by a shrink ray. It turns out that Power Pants Pete wasn't really in charge. The real villain behind all the shrinking is Megamort. <laughs> Megamort drops Tiny Pete and flies away. When Mickey and Super Power Pup chase Megamort, they get trapped inside a giant bubble. Meanwhile, the other heroes try to rescue Pete. Once again, the heroes fail to work together. They get all tangled up, and Pete rolls away down a hill. Suddenly, the heroes lose their superpowers. With help from Super Toodles and a giant blow dryer basket tool, Mickey and Super Power Pup escape Megamort's bubble trap. But Super Mickey loses his powers right in the middle of trying to stop Megamort from shrinking the clubhouse. Then, Megamort shrinks Mickey and the clubhouse. Tiny Mickey is in big trouble. Goofy, Minnie, Donald, and Daisy race after Pete, but they catch him without superpowers. Oh, Super Toodles, called Minnie. Toodles gives Minnie a giant catcher's mitt. Minnie tosses the mitt to Donald, who tosses the mitt to Daisy, who tosses the mitt to Goofy, who catches Pete in a flash. The friends get their powers back. When we work together, we're super duper, says Wonder Minnie. Meanwhile, Megamort is escaping with Mickey. Luckily, even the Toon Car is super. It's now a super jet. The jet-setting heroes catch up with Megamort. Upsy Daisy distracts Megamort while Dynamo Duck and Super Goof save Mickey and the other shrunken items. As the heroes leave, they see Megamort is in trouble. His blimp is flying out of control. Even though Megamort is a villain, the heroes work together to save him. Megamort thanks the heroes by unshrinking Mickey and the rest of the clubhouse world. Megamort even promises to give up his villainous ways. Well, that's super, says Mickey. The end. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe. Don't miss our next Mickey Mouse Clubhouse, Detective Donald. Bye-bye.